Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check your router connection. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is make sure you're connected to your router. So let's open up these settings here and tap on Wi-Fi. Now on any device, it doesn't matter, a mobile phone, like an iPhone or Android or computer, you wanna make sure that you're connected to that Wi-Fi network. You can see under it, it might say no internet connection or limited internet connection. And that will essentially mean you're connected to the router, but it's not giving you internet. You can always test the connection here by doing a speed test in Google. So just type in speed test and hit run speed test. So you're gonna look to see if the number of megabytes per second looks roughly what you're paying for. So if it looks good and it's fast enough, then you're good to go. You're connected to that Wi-Fi network and everything is working normally. However, you also might want to go back to your Wi-Fi here and tap the little I. And let's scroll down and you can see under router is the IP address. So I can tap on that and hit copy. And then open up a web page again, and I'm gonna paste in this IP address. After I do that, it will connect me to this router, and I'll be able to see a lot of helpful information about it. I'm gonna go over to broadband at the very top. Keep in mind, this will look different depending on whether you have AT&T Fiber, or Google Fiber, or any other internet or router. But on here, what you're gonna look for is something about your ethernet status. You can see the line state is up, indicating that there's good connection from the street, from the internet, going to my router itself. And then you can see current speed is 1,000 megabytes per second, AKA one gigabyte per second, roughly. And so you'll be able to see that the fiber looks good, everything is connected, the IP addresses look good, all of that is up and running. So if you're having trouble with your internet and everything looks good from the router side, then it could be your device. You might not need to restart your device. Maybe you want to restart your router and your device as well. And if it's still not working, maybe you want to reach out to your internet service provider. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.